What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the original Penguin Gingham short sleeve shirt I picked up at Saks Off Fifth for $29.99. These shirts don't get any stars or any customer reviews, but they do come in five different sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL. These shirts do come in a variety of colorways and prints. As you can see here, we have this really cool pink checkered pineapple print. We have a blue sort of striped gradient shirt. And last but not least, we have a navy blue surfer print shirt. These are all three extra large shirts. They are different colors as you can tell, but they do have some other distinguishing features. With that being said, summer and spring break is right around the corner. So why not kick off this season, this exciting season that's going to be a big one here in Southwest Florida uh, to just lighten up the mood a little bit and get in the swing of things again and get back to, you know, going to the beach and having fun and, and dressing lightly for this warm, beautiful, weather uh let's go ahead and look at these original penguin short sleeve shirts that i think would look great worn to the beach with a bathing suit or uh, out to dinner that night with a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts or what have you and just some flip-flops we're gonna see how these shirts fit i am about 6'1 215 pounds i am consistently an extra large which these shirts are so we'll see how well they fit my assumption is they're actually going to be just a little bit on the bigger side but that's because I think the style of these shirts works just that way. They just are sort of loose fitting. So yeah, they should be pretty comfortable. I'm looking forward to wearing them and trying them on and showing you around each shirt. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off this spring summer season with an awesome first look and impressions on the original Penguin Gingham short sleeve shirt I picked up at Off Saks Fifth for $29.99. Let's go ahead and get into it. These three, not only are they great looking colors, but they were actually the only three I could get in an extra large. All the other shirts and prints uh, were actually out of the extra large. So a new style and look from Original Penguin for the spring summer 2021 season. So you are getting a first look here on this channel. Uh, as you can see, we've got the surfer print here, which is actually a really cool looking shirt. Uh, upon first impressions, I'm thinking this is going to be my favorite. We'll take a look at that shortly. Uh, in the middle here, we do have a sort of uh, stripe gradient shirt. Uh, I've actually never seen a gradient uh, in a stripe pattern. Usually gradients are sort of a solid color and then they sort of make a smooth transition into the base color. but this is broken down into stripes which is pretty fascinating we'll take a look at that and then last but not least we have the pineapple print checkered shirt this is a pink shirt for those of you gentlemen out there who are not comfortable wearing pink this will probably not be the shirt for you but these shirts all look phenomenal let's go ahead and get into them as you can see it actually is just a little bit smaller than i was expecting uh, i was expecting this to be a little bit bigger maybe fit a little bit more loosely but now that I actually have it spread out on the table, my assumption is it's gonna be just a little bit of a tighter fit. Uh, one way I know that this is meant to be worn untucked is if you actually look at the tail of the shirt, it's actually a pretty short tail. It should probably go down to just past the waist. Uh, you'd also probably wanna wear it unbuttoned just a little bit here. It's just buttoned up at the top here because they do wanna keep the form of the shirt as it's on the rack. But I think you might wanna wear it something like this. Uh, you could also even unbutton the collars here if you want a more casual look, for example. Uh, one thing I wanna point out about this shirt in particular is usually with a pink shirt, you would get uh, blue tones to sort of contrast the pink. I think that's been a style for a few years now to have like a light blue or baby blue and a pink, but these pineapples are actually black. Uh, one thing I want to point out, what's actually really kind of nice about this t-shirt, which is really great detail, is you'll actually notice here, these four pineapples at the end of the sleeve here are perfectly lined up. So not only is there an even number of pineapples at the end of the sleeve here, they actually don't go off the end of the sleeve and out of frame. They're actually perfectly in frame. They're not cut off. 
Really nice attention to detail here. What's actually interesting is I would say there are more pineapples on this shirt than there are surfer prints on the surfer print shirt. So there's no texture to them. There's no stitching to them, which is a good thing because if you're wearing this out and are active in it uh, and you know sweating in it and washing it on a regular basis, uh, these prints shouldn't, you know, come off the shirt, you're not gonna have problems with stitching, sticking up out of the embroidery, for example. Uh, you get some beautiful stitching running down the center of the shirt where the buttons are. Uh, you get stitching at the edge of the collar here, running around the collar. You get stitching pretty much everywhere behind the collar. Uh, as you can see, you get a really nice tag on the inside here uh, that is sort of like a rustic looking. It almost looks homemade. Uh, it looks handmade, I should say. Uh, but you do get an idea of the sizing here, uh, where it's made. It is an extra large, and it does actually include what looks to be some European sizes here. So I think it looks great. If they would have gone for black stitching, that would not have looked good. If they would have went for pink stitching, that would have been okay. I would have dealt with that, but I think the best option here was white stitching, and I'm glad to see that they chose that. I think that's the best option to keep sort of everything balanced and composed. You don't want a shirt that's gonna look crazy, right? But I also like to go out with a little bit of flair and style and taste. And I think this shirt is exactly that. Uh, this is probably my second favorite shirt. Uh, the first favorite shirt is probably going to be the surfer print shirt. For some reason, I'm just in love with that. But this shirt is the stripe gradient shirt I was talking about at the beginning of the video. It is a modern sort of innovative and forward-looking approach to a gradient colored shirt. What's interesting are the blue and the gray uh, could be interchangeable easily. They could be in the same color palette. What you'll notice here is that it goes through a couple of different colors that are not in the same palette as the blue and the gray, such as the orange and the pink. You also get this same blue around the collar, which I think is a great look, which I think gives the collar a bold, but conservative look. What I love about this solid color blue at the collar is that it does show off the stitching here, which is not blue or white. It actually is sort of a gray to match the bottom gradient of the shirt, which I think looks fantastic. It definitely adds some contrast and some style. Uh, also, what makes this shirt different from the pineapple print shirt is you're not going to get a front pocket here, which is super fascinating that the pattern shirts do have a front pocket, but these solid color sort of gradient color shirts do not have front pockets, which is very fascinating. So uh, really cool uh, look here. Uh, you get that gray deviated stitching, holding it down uh, to match the stitching around the sleeve here and the collar. There are no pineapples cut off or unevenly lined up along the edge of the sleeve here. Where this stands out the most actually is that this gray is not a solid gray. It's actually a heather gray. You'll actually notice there are some white threads mixed in with the gray threads and it's done exceptionally well. It gives the shirt a really great and differentiating look. It gives it some character. And last but not least is the surfer print shirt. This is definitely my favorite shirt out of the bunch here. Uh, I think this is a great mix of sophistication and class and casual and bold all at the same time. Uh, I'm so happy that they actually have this extra large. Uh, when I was looking at these shirts from the get-go, this is the first one that stood out to me. This is why I'm reviewing these shirts in the first place because this shirt in particular caught my attention. Uh, you can definitely see people's arms swaying and their heads tilted uh, back like they're balancing and people's arms spread out to balance. Uh, I love the blue and the white and the pink contrasting here against the navy blue. I think that's a great color palette. What's also really cool about this shirt, what makes it different is A, there is a pocket on it. So like I was saying earlier, the print shirts will have a pocket and the solid color gradient shirts will not have a pocket. But the Penguin logo, yes, it is embroidered, but it is a black color. I think we can pretty much confirm that the Penguin is a solid black because this shirt is actually navy blue and this Penguin is much darker than it. 
Uh, you get the same exact features as on the other shirts. You get the stitching that makes its way down the center of the shirt here with these white pearl essence buttons that definitely allow it to stand out. Let's go ahead and try them on. I think you can pretty much point out the differences between the three. The pattern print shirts are going to have a pocket on the left hand side on the chest. Let's go ahead and try this shirt on. They are an extra large. I am 6'1", 215 pounds. Let's go ahead and see what they look like on me. Okay guys, so I've got on the original Penguin gingham short sleeve shirt. It is a button down. It does have a collar. As you can see, this is the pattern shirt. It is an extra large. I'm about 6'1", 215 pounds. What's nice about the pattern style of shirts is that you do get the front pocket on the left chest here. It does have these really nice short sleeves. It does give it a thin, athletic, sort of youthful, streamlined look, which I actually really like. It even kind of gives you a little bit of a chiseled look, uh, just the way the shoulder pads sit and the way the chest fits. One thing that I don't like about this shirt is that it's actually just a little tight in the chest and at the front of the shoulder here. So when I actually move my arms out, I think you can see the front of the shirt sort of tightening over my arms here and my shoulders a little bit. Uh, as you can see, if I move my arms up and down, do the chicken dance a little bit here, you can pretty much see that there's actually a good amount of room underneath the armpit. So I would say it's still a little bit tight, but that mainly has to do with the fact that it's really tight on the arms when I uh, bow my arms out like that. Otherwise, it fits really nice in the stomach and in the waist. Uh, one thing I think you'll notice about this shirt that's actually really nice is it goes right down to the waist here. Uh, so here's my belt. Here's pretty much the tail end of the shirt. As you can see, I'm turning around here and it doesn't, you know, go all the way down past my uh, buttocks, for example. It's actually just a pretty nice casual look. I actually think it looks great. Uh, it is just a little bit tight. It's just a little bit more material here. Uh, if I move my arms, it's a little bit tight. You can see the material sort of restricting my arm a little bit. But uh, for the most part, uh, it does conform to your arm. It's a nice, thin look. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down to the elbow. As you can see, there's about three quarters of an inch between the end of the sleeve and the elbow here. So again, really love this style. Love the way that this shirt's sits at the waist. I think it looks phenomenal. It feels great too. It's extremely comfortable and lightweight. This is a style that I normally don't wear, but I think it's one that I actually might get into because I really do like this shirt a lot. Okay, so next up, this is probably my second favorite shirt. It might even be my first favorite shirt, is this solid color gradient shirt. As you can see, it's actually a nice gray at the bottom. It's like a heather gray. It is mixed with some white threading. Uh, but as you can see, it complements these pair of jeans exceptionally well. I think the other shirt did a great job of complementing these jeans well too. They would obviously look fantastic with a pair of shorts or a bathing suit if you just maybe want to go out and have lunch in a shirt like this. But as you can see, this is much more reserved. It's a little bit more laid back but it definitely still exudes that sophistication and that confidence and that boldness that you would expect from a shirt, from a nice quality shirt like this. Uh, just like the Surfer print shirt before it, uh, it is extremely soft and lightweight and breathable. It's extremely comfortable, uh, but also just like the Surfer print shirt, it definitely still is a little bit tight in the chest. I feel restricted, uh, but as you'll notice, the sleeve of the shirt is exactly the same length as the Surfer print shirt. As you can see, uh, you get just this great contrast here between the buttons and the gradient. One thing I actually want to point out is the pleat on the back of the shirt. I did mention that in the first impressions. Uh, it might not be a style that you're interested in. It might be a style that you're interested in. I cannot tell, so you'll have to uh, leave a comment below. Uh, just like the other two shirts before this one, they fit exactly the same. They feel great. Uh, one thing I really do appreciate about this shirt is actually how they matched the Penguin logo to the pineapple imprints themselves. I, again, I think that gives the shirt just a more complete and balanced look. Uh, if I actually just spin around here, you can pretty much see the pleats on the back of the shirt. Uh, they just give this shirt a more clean cut professional look. I even actually really do dig this pink shirt. I think it looks great. 
Uh, initially, I thought it would be just a little bit pretentious or ostentatious, but uh, it makes me think of like Los Angeles and California. Like I actually right now, just with the way I look, I've kind of got these skinny jeans on and this button down shirt with the short sleeves. Yeah, I think it looks the part. Uh, I think it is the part. Anyways, guys, that is going to conclude this first impressions and try on. I really do love these shirts. I think they look phenomenal. Uh, the reason that they were able to keep them at this $30 price point was the fact that these are just imprints. They're not embroidered, they're not stitched. So I think if they were embroidered or stitched, they would be much more expensive than this. The only drawback with this shirt, and it may just be the style, it may be, uh, me just not being used to this style and look and feel is the fact that it does feel just a little bit restricted in the chest when i puff my chest out what i love is the tail of the shirt just goes down past the waist so anyways guys that is going to do it because i picked these shirts up at Saks off fit that does make them a big box good if you want to see more content like this hit that like button subscribe i really hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my merchandise store our merchandise store there's some really cool stuff on there Supporting the merchandise store and buying things will support this channel so I can continue to go out and buy interesting products and make reviews on them for you. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.